Here's what's in my camera bag, 2021 edition. First off, let's talk about the camera that I'm filming on right now. This is the Canon 6D Mark II. On the front, I have a 24 millimeter f2.8 lens. On top is a Rode Video Micro microphone, and this is all mounted on top of a Reveille tripod. By the way, if you guys want any of this stuff, links in the description below. Now when it comes to the Canon 6D Mark II, I don't think you guys should actually buy this. It was a great camera back when I bought it, and for me, it's still getting the job done. And I probably won't upgrade, at least for another year. But right now, if you guys are gonna go buy a camera, even like an EOS R would probably be a better choice right now, and even be a little cheaper than this camera. Yeah, so it's what I'm using, but it's not necessarily what I recommend. The other thing that's always with me, but never in the backpack, is my Samsung Galaxy S10. I use this mostly for photos and then every now and again for like a behind the scenes shot or something like that, or for filming slow-mo. All right, now looking at my camera bag, the camera bag itself is not designed to be a camera bag. It's just a cheap backpack that I got off of Amazon, but it really works great for what I do. On this outside pocket here, I keep a super long selfie stick. This is one of the ones that extends out 10 feet and I use this with the Insta360 cameras. I used to have a DJI Mavic Mini, but because drone laws are complicated and honestly a little above my head, I decided to go ahead and sell that, and I just use this long selfie stick with a 360 camera on the end of it to get high angled shots, and that satisfies most of my desires to get like aerial style footage. In this first little pocket on the very outside of the backpack, I keep my new Insta360 GO 2. Love this camera. Now moving on to the next pocket, I have the Insta360 ONE X2. This is my favorite 360 cam, so take this basically everywhere with me. And along with that, I keep a shorter extendable selfie stick. This extends out to four feet and is perfect for doing vlogging and stuff like that with the ONE X2. Then inside this little bag, I keep my GoPro Hero 9, which I usually have in my Ulinzi metal roll cage. I like this because it has the um, quarter 20 threads on the bottom. Just makes it easier for me to hook this to my tripods and stuff. Some of you guys might have seen the side-by-side -side comparison I did between the GoPro Hero 9 and the Insta360 GO 2, and so you're wondering why do I have both of them in my backpack? It basically is just because I happen to own both of them, and they kind of have pros and cons to both of them. So when I want the most image stabilization, I'll grab the GO 2. When I want a screen on the back and to line up a specific shot, I grab the GoPro. Uh, when I want the super small form factor and convenience, then grab the Go. Uh, for those rare occasions when I want super high resolution 5K video, I'll grab the GoPro. And I just kind of switch back and forth between them. It's really hard to say which one's actually better just because they're so different. Now those times when I want to go on a walk or a hike and I'm not planning on taking a camera, but I can just have this in its super small little carrying case here, slip it in my pocket in situations where I wasn't really planning on taking a camera but I want to just in case. In the bottom of this pocket I usually keep two of my favorite action camera mounts, the snap mount and then the small rig friction arm clamp. Both of these are really versatile mounts and between the two of them I can usually figure out a way to mount my camera basically anywhere. In here I have my Canon 50mm f1.8. This goes on the Canon 6D Mark II. It's really great for portraits, has a very shallow depth of field. This is one of those lenses that's really good and really cheap. Usually you don't get good and cheap, but this is the exception. So definitely recommend this lens if you're using a Canon camera. Next up is the Zomi mini tripod. This is super high quality. I usually like to keep this little adapter hooked on the top of it that allows me to snap my phone in here if I want to, but then it's also compatible with the action cameras and it's even robust enough to hold up the Canon if I need it to. So this is pretty much all the camera gear I usually have with me. Last thing in my backpack is the Apple iPad Air. I just keep this in a small lightweight leather case. The thing I really love about this is that I can run Photoshop and Lightroom on here so I can do a full-fledged photo edit on here if I need to, which actually I do all the time because I like the experience of using the Apple Pen. So along with that, I always have this SD card adapter. This does micro and full-sized SD cards. And then I have an adapter that goes on here that makes it USB-C. So I can plug this into the iPad and get photos and videos off of any of my cameras onto here. I haven't actually done any video editing on here yet. Um, but I do use it all the time for photos and absolutely love it. 
So that's it. Go watch some of my other videos right here, and I'll see you guys next time.